Hey beautiful people, I love Hersey so the most high. So the father wants me to talk about unfulfillment and strange men, strange women, evil men, evil women. It goes together with the video just before that. He said, continue. So this is a continuation. So basically, um, he wants you to know why Satan sends you counterfeit partners and counterfeit spouse and counterfeit people in your life. Why you have a lot of boyfriends, you have a lot of girlfriends and you keep switching partners because unfulfillment. You won't be fulfilling God's purpose for your life. You won't be fulfilling God's destiny in your life. You won't be getting God's glory in your life. You won't retain God's blessings in your life. You won't get your possessions of God in your life. You won't get your riches and your finances from God in your life because you're not living in order of how God blesses you. He blessed the man and the woman. Abraham and Sarah, Adam and Eve, Isaac and Rebecca. As you look, they were blessed because they kept God's order and how he designed them to be with their ordained spouse. When Satan gives, makes it so available on social media, dating apps, all kinds of stuff for people just to keep from their destiny, to keep from fulfilling God's purpose from their life, keep them from living happy, keep them from having love because he cannot love, keep them from what God wants for them and what God gave them, goodness, happiness, prosperity, to keep them from elevating, to keep them from being happy because he's not happy he's miserable misery loves company you have always heard that saying satan's miserable about how god blessed his creation because god cursed him after he fell so he wants you to be miserable and he wants you to be cursed because he knows the scriptures in deuteronomy when god says i place before you today a life and death a blessing and a curse all right and satan got cursed and God sentenced him to death in the lake of fire. So he wants you to be deceived so you can get the curse and death and end up in the lake of fire with him. So that is what you need to understand when it comes to the scriptures. And you have to understand what God is trying to show you. Why he sends strange men, strange women, evil man, evil woman, whorelets, prostitutes, and people that are just so desperate and available into your life and people who just wanna do things to entice you and use flattery and compliments to get near to you, to hurt you, to keep you from your destiny, to keep you from fulfilling God's purpose, to keep you from your wealth, to keep you from your power. And then he wants me to show you in the scriptures how um, great men, Str I mean, strong men retain riches, right? But it tells you that the strange woman, when she comes about, she wound and slain many strong men. So he wanted me to tell you, when men get involved with strange women, they destroy their strength. They make them weak men. And that is why they can't retain riches. And they're always looking, you know, those are the men who live off of women when they're with strange women because that is the curse that's upon them and that is what the woman does so the man could stay with them. They keep supporting that man. They like not sponsor, they sponsor, they support him. They take care of him in any way because they're the ones who are blocking his finances. They're the ones blocking his wealth and his riches because strong men, who you guys call alpha men, God, like there's so much things we can talk about that but strong men retain riches but when you're with a strange woman she makes you a weak man so that is why you can't retain riches and you're always depending on her for your finance your wealth and your riches because she's blocking that and god doesn't bless a mess when you're with a wife and you go for the wife god gave you he blesses you with favor you everything you'll have now let me tell you a story about this someone i know he went to Somalia. He got married. And when he married that wife of his, the dad gave him land. Did he know he was gonna get land? Wasn't he blessed with favor? 
Can he build a house on that land? Can he start to plant and make something from himself from something to nothing? Can't he sow that land? That is what I'm telling you people. You guys look for love in the wrong places. You don't wait on God to show you who your love is. You stop wasting your love on people who don't need it. Stop wasting your love on people that are gonna hurt you, on temporary things. Stop making people hurt you for no reason. Ask God who's for you and who's not for you. Who's with you and who's not with you. Who you're supposed to be with and who you're not supposed to be with. Who you're supposed to talk to and who you're not supposed to talk to. Let God guide and govern your life. Move all misdirection from your life and make God direct your life and your path and your journey and your walk with him. That's something you need to start praying about. Because a lot of you people don't understand what a relationship is and what marriage unity is and what the purpose and the reason is behind that. And you really need to understand why Satan attacks it so much. Adam and Eve understood that. Did Adam leave Eve? He still never left her. No, he didn't. Why did you leave your wife? Why did you leave your husband? Is it not what Satan wants you to do? Why did you leave your children? Isn't that what Satan wanted you to do? Well, that's something to reflect on. Why are you doing what Satan wants you to do? And why are you not doing what God wants you to do to be blessed? Why you want the curse and death? Why you don't want life and a blessing? Why you don't want happiness when Satan wants to just give you unhappiness? Why wouldn't you want to be rejoicing when Satan just wants you to be sad? Now understand who your enemy is. It's always him. He just has you looking at other people like they're the problem. And he sends people as problems to stop you from what? Fulfilling purpose. Because God fulfills it with the man, the woman, and the children. He blesses you. He blesses order, not disorder. So you have a blessed day. Take care. And um, you can take up this message with fasting and praying and asking the Father. Because this is what he wanted me to talk to you about. Unfulfillment. From the last, just the video I was just walking and making. He told me to go back on and explain this. So I hope you get it. And I hope this message is clear with your understanding. If not, ask for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to understand what I'm saying. Take care. Stay blessed. And know that the Father loves you.